Yeah, so I joined the team when I was like seven years old, Brumsmere in Sheffield. Um, I have a brother who's a year older than me, so I, I generally played the year, year group above. Um, my dad was the manager, so I always played and always started. Otherwise, I'd have been unhappy with him when I got home. So, uh, no, it was um, it was a great time for me, great, enjoyable time. The main thing for me when I was a young boy is to make sure that I enjoyed the game, enjoyed enjoyed the training sessions, enjoyed the, the tournaments that I played in. And, yeah, played with a big smile on my face, and I certainly did that in Brunsmere enabled me to do that and I think that's the, the moment that I fell in love with the game so I think at that age especially is um, a moment of trying to find that, that, that sport that you love and, and football was the one for me. Yeah so it was, it was my dad and another um, player's parent so no I think, I think like I say the most important thing at that age is to play with a smile on your face, no pressure, go out, score goals, enjoy yourself, um, enjoy the training so yeah I think it was more little games obviously little relay races drills i can remember that everything's really competitive but everything's done with a smile on your face and that's the most important thing played on a lot of astroturf especially train on astroturf especially during the winter months and you can't find a pitch to, to play on and then at school as well you, you play on astroturf at school and in the pl playground so no, I think when you fall in love with the sport, football, I think you, you, you try and play wherever you can. You go home, you play in the park or you, you go to school and you play in the playground. And yeah, I think it's just getting a ball and playing wherever you can. Yeah, definitely. Well, for sure. The, the art of the pitch is to play on then. When you do become and play on Wembley like I am at the moment, it's, it feels uh, a lot easier than it would playing on a, on a playground with with things what test you touch a lot more than Wembley would. So yeah, of course, it improves your skills, but I think just playing with the football generally just as much time as you can as much practice as you can with the football whether it's doing keepy up is passing the ball against the wall um, I think that's what that that's what enables you to get to, to, to improve your skills no my main influence was my dad um, come from a football family so I used to come home play in the garden I, I had a brother who was a year and a half older than me as well so everything that we did whether it was football or another sport but everything we did was so competitive if he did 100 kick-ups in the garden, I'd do 101. So, you know, we pushed each, each other to the limit. Uh, my dad got involved as well, and we, we played a lot in the garden. We dug up all the turf. My mum weren't too happy. The neighbours always had the, the balls thrown them back over. But, yeah, I think that's part of my childhood. And I think um, when you love the game and you, and, and you play with a smile on your face, I think whatever you can, you just play football. Yeah, so as a player back then, I was more of a... I played central midfield, really, from... Um, from really seven years old all the way um, up till I was probably 16. So central midfield, yeah, I always see myself comfortable on the ball and it probably helps me back then playing in that position to, to how I am now in terms of stepping in and, and, and being able to see passes and, and passes through the lines and things like that. So I'd say it's a big, big part of me why I'm, I feel myself as a, a comf comfortable on the ball and composed on the ball and yeah, it really helps me growing up. Well, first and foremost, you need to be able to defend. So. I know a lot of talks has, has been on the ball um, and improving your game on the ball. Of course, you need to be good on the ball. To, be, to become a top elite centre-back, you need to play with the ball because every top club builds from the back. They play with the keepers, um, they build up. But first and foremost, the most important thing is being able to defend, um, remain active, remain switched on. Um, and yeah, I think really important as a defender is to be an active defender, um, whether it's on the front foot, be aggressive, Nick balls, interceptions, but constant, being active, been been on your toes, been in, squeezing up the pitch when you can, and nicking yards, and just just being one step ahead of the striker, and that's the most important thing for me. Yeah, well, first and foremost, you need to know a little bit about your attacker, um, what his strengths are, what his weaknesses are, what foot he is, where you want to show him, um, and also the cover what you've got in in defence as well. So if you're one v one, there's Generally, when you are 1v1, you do feel 1v1, but there's always cover around you as well. So you need to show him where the bodies are, um, where you are going to get less exposed. Um, but for sure, the, the main aim is not to get yourself in a 1v1 situation. Act quick, react quick, and, and be on the front foot and try and be ahead of your attacker. So you, you don't, you, in a game, you want to be getting yourselves in a limited amount of chances for them to get you 1v1 because that's what they want. That's what the attackers want. They want 1v1 situations. and. Um, for me as a defender, try and limit that. Yeah, I think you've got to remain as tight as you can to, to your opponent around the box. Um, I think it's obviously a thing what's coming to the game really much now where, where squeezing the box, getting out of the box, being out of the box is, is really important. Get the closer to your goal you are, you, 
you're in more danger so your attacker's got more movement more space to work with if you can squeeze the box you can block shots a lot easier there's the midfielders can't get in the in the space and turn and, and block shots so for me squeezing the box is really important but obviously when you get the closer you get to your own goal you've got to know where men are you've got to know where a lot of defending now is zonal um, getting in good positions and then the closer you are to your own goal it's more uh, focused on men and at the end of the day the men score the goals so um, yeah for sure you've got to be um, man marking when it gets close to the goal yeah definitely I think um, as a central defender you've got to be like I say you've got to be one step ahead of the, of the forward um, and if you're not that's when you get in trouble and, and they'll score the goal and you won't be able to defend so you've got to react quick be active like I say always use the offside to, to your advantage squeeze the pitch squeeze the box and um, be on the front foot be aggressive um, always as the defender I always say the main thing is being on the front foot and being aggressive if the, the minute you come off it and you come off half, half a yard you come off a yard you might be looking after yourself but you're not looking after the team yeah for me um, obviously it's the situation of the game um, it's whether the space in front of you it's the speed on the pass that someone passes if my other centre half passes the ball in front of me and it enables me to, to take the striker out of the game and, and then commit the winger maybe who, who jumps towards me and then you can feed the left back who can step in past him it's all about eliminating players on their team and and reducing the amount of numbers that they can defend against our forward lads with really so yeah I think that the main thing is eliminating the striker out of the game and then I'll try and eliminate the um, whether it's a midfielder that jumps to me or the, or the winger that jumps to me and then find the spare man to, to go and try and um, use it to our advantage. Yeah, I think obviously playing in central midfield probably helped me develop those skills um, and obviously having a really good coordination in terms of dribbling with the ball, it's probably something that people don't really focus on as, as a defender but I just think the ball control is, is such a big thing in terms of running at speed um, and playing with your head up and, and playing all in one motion and that, that that's a big part of my game and probably something that I benefit from in, in terms of being able to run, run at high speeds with the ball and play on the front foot um, with my head up as well with the ball. Yeah, obviously every, everybody's dreams to, 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 to play for England and play for the country so for me, work hard, keep enjoying it, play with a smile on your face like I say, keep listening to your coaches and every day just try and improve. Keep trying to improve and, and you never know where it can take you. You just have great belief. But the, the first and foremost, enjoy, enjoy the game, play with a big smile and um, yeah, keep working hard. Yeah, for, for sure, I think you need a positive vibe around the place. Um, England, since I've, since I've played under Gareth, has, has really um, implemented that, the positivity around the place and uh, a nice energy, but also a big focus on, on the job that we've got to do. So yeah, of course, England's been great since I've come in the lads welcome me straight away um, I think that's really important we, we see a lot of new players and a lot of debuts but I think they can all say as well as, as myself that the group's really welcoming um, we have great standards in training we drive the standards but for sure it's a, it's a positive place to be around yeah of course I think like I say I always speak about enjoyment um, positivity is a big big part of that you're going to lose football matches there's going to be ups and downs that's football there's going to be mistakes that happen you've always got to remain positive and look forward to, to the next one and at England we do that um, and for sure you need to stick together when, when, when the bad moments come um, because they're going to come that's football ups and downs and mistakes like I say but yeah positivity is such a big place and yeah of course when you're a young boy and you're, you're at grassroots like I say the main thing is to play with a smile on your face so that would help yeah of course we've, we've remained that since Russia like I say ever since the, the managers took over here and I've played under him the, the positivity has always been there so it's a big part of the camp togetherness we're not going to win anything on our, on our own and, and that's the aim so we've got to stick together um, no matter what happens in camp or out of camp so yeah we're all in this together and we're looking forward to it yeah of course I'll, I'll pass on my experiences my advice I think it's really important for the experience in the camp and we've got a lot now um, but of course it's it's such a it's such a big moment for, for, for people individually to come to a major tournament with England um, but you've got to go there and enjoy it look at the badge look what you're wearing every day and, and play with no fear play with play with no pressure um, go out and enjoy it and and put a high demand on yourself to perform well and, and do everything you can to perform well and that's all what you can do yeah of course it's really exciting everyone in, in the camp's really excited we, we're, we're ready we're focused the group's together um, 
we're confident, like I say, but not overconfident. We, we take every game as it comes and we know how important this tournament is for ourselves, for, for, for the country. So we're going to give it everything that we've got.